द होल ट्रूथ इज दैट यू आर ए लाय अरे नाउ वॉट यार लुक एट दिस Good good food is made of good ingredients. Good natural time tested ingredients are definitely not made in a chemistry lab. So we'll never put them in our food. Huh, so what about it? You pride yourself on using time tested ingredients. Yeah, that's correct. And yet you sell whey. Yeah, that's also correct. What? Yeah. Since when was whey protein a natural ingredient from someone's grandmother's shelf? You really don't know, do you? But yeah. Whey protein is older than your grandmom. It's literally as old as cheese. Hey? Ha. Huh. I think it's time for another history lesson. Chal. Yar, now where have you brought me? <laughs> this is 17th century Europe and this is a whey house. Well, looks to me it's just like a Shakespeare themed cafe. The waffle notes have sounded very patronizing. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but this is just a normal cafe, at least for the 17th century. And you see all of these people here; they're here for their daily whey drink. Wait, their what? Their whey drink. You see, when you make cheese, you separate the milk into two parts. These solid curds that you see; these become the cheese, and mm -mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that cloudy liquid that's left behind, that is whey. Wait, so whey is just leftover cheese water. Yep. And this leftover cheese water is packed with nutrients. That's why it's been used for centuries. Even the great Hippocrates prescribed it for healing. But then how do you turn this liquid into the powder that you sell? Ah, for that we'll have to jump forward to a time when this simple drink became a massive headache for the cheese industry. Come. Welcome to the 20th century. The industrial revolution has changed everything. Cheese is not just being made in homes anymore, it's being mass produced in factories like this. So what is all of this? <laughs> Remember that making cheese leaves behind way? Yeah. Well, now we are making mountains of cheese, which means oceans of way? <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. By the 1970s cheese manufacturers were literally drowning in whey. They did not know what to do with it. They were desperate for a solution. And that's where I came in. Talking talking photo. Photo talking. Meet Frank Thomas, a dairy farmer who figured out something brilliant about whey. Actually, Frank ji, aap hi samjhaiye. You see this whey liquid? The protein molecules in it are bigger than everything else. the water the sugars the minerals so if you pass it through filters with tiny holes so like a super fine tea strainer exactly my boy the small stuff passes through but the proteins get left behind ha ah, and then you add chemicals no -uh. no chemicals no artificial processing just physical separation by size and that's how we got whey protein powder just concentrated protein from natural whey and this waste product became super valuable the best cattle food ever wait what you're giving me cattle food matlab ha tab aisa hi tha because you know the protein bit wasn't that famous with human beings till the 1980s when something really big started happening in sports Protein started gaining prominence as a essential for muscle building and athletes were always looking for ways to enhance performance. That's when David Jenkins, a former Olympian who also happened to be a chemical engineer, had another breakthrough. Chemical engineer. See, this is where the chemicals have gotten in. Are nahi bhai, he just saw the potential in this pure protein source for human nutrition and then he found a way to make it easily mixable in water. So when do the chemicals come in? That's when the big corporations get in. You know, whey protein started getting so popular that the industry saw big money in it. Mass production began. But hey, making pure whey is expensive. So they took something completely natural and added chemicals. Exactly. Like artificial sweeteners to make it tastier, amino spiking to fake higher protein content, basically anything to make it cheaper and more profitable. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? That is why whey protein gets a bad rep. 
Damn. So basically, whey is as simple as any other protein source, like paneer and eggs and chicken. Hmm. Not exactly. I mean, it is a little processed. Like we did filter the protein from that leftover cheese water, right? But yes, it is food. It's not some lab-made artificial chemical concoction. And hey, it has all this rich history, and it is definitely time-tested. Which is why we chose to go backwards and took whey protein to its purest form. No harmful chemicals, 100% clean, simple, just the way it was supposed to be. And that's the whole truth.